Dark Horse Fex is our opportunity as VLT-35 to not just demonstrate that we can persist inside the weapons engagement zone, inside the first island chain, but also that we can execute our operations, intel, and fires via the command control that is light, mobile, and low signature via 4M razors. That's going to be a critical capability as we expand our influence and disrupt the enemy's targeting efforts throughout the first island chain. It also assures our allies because we can distribute and very quickly to execute crisis response uh, should it be required, should we end up going in from a competition to crisis to conflict the situation very rapidly. This exercise was designed to test a battalion in an EABO environment using small units to combat a soft force in the jungle. This is our last field op that we're doing here in Okinawa. The purpose of this field op is to show the Marine Corps how a unit can respond and how fast they can respond and how they would fight in case of any actions from our enemies. We successfully infiltrated into the CTA and conducted an air assault into the NTA. Desperate dispersed into small units throughout the NTA and engaged the soft force. We know we need to infiltrate, we know we need to seize key maritime terrain, and we know that we need to go immediately execute the war fighting functions associated with the battalion where we're not going to do a deployment model, but we're going to have to employ immediately from our bases and stations here in Okinawa. So our command and control, logistics, fires, and intelligence all needs to be executed and supported, while at the same time infantry companies and platoons are moving out immediately for our operational employment. We just need to focus on being in the basics, squad actions, command control. We're asking a lot of squad leaders, how do they call for fire in the jungle? How do they get observers into place? How do they sustain when they don't have the company COC or battalion support that we're used to having throughout the last 20 years? The train's extremely tough. Visibility is very limited. Just the conditions really wear you down. It creates a really unique challenge operating in the jungle. It's really a rifleman's game. But I think as we kind of incorporate boring munitions, precision fires, and kind of shorten, you know, close the gap when it comes to fire sport in the jungle.